the Joe Rogan experience. And that's always been fascinating to me is when you see like the study of, of the law of attraction where it's like you see something you like, how your pupils dilate and how you how you kind of like pheromones and weird shit. I got a cologne. God, I can't remember what the, oh, it was called. So that's who buys cologne. Huh? Gay guys. What I about? I was wondering. What? Like, who the fuck's buying cologne? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I love How many cologne. different colognes do you have in your house? Oh, um, I probably have about mm. like 10. Whoa. Oh, yeah. you're a connoisseur. Yeah. Do you have like different, like tonight is the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. like, like, I pull I it, out of, I pull it like, out of the vault. Mm, no, not, mm. not this one. No, mm. well, I sign up for Scentbird. Which Scent, I, bird. Scent, Scent Bird is the cologne. They send you a different cologne every month. It's a cologne club. It's like Dollar Shave Club. It's like for yeah. cologne. It's like fourteen ninety five. You get a little vial Jesus of cologne. Jesus Christ! Hey, I've been with them for two, three years. Scent Bird. Oh my God! But I do it every every year. I'll go. I'll have my January through my December smells. You have different this smells for different times. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out. Okay, well, that's a wrap. Do you have different <laughs> smells for different times of the year? Yeah. I got my spring. I got my summer. I got my fall. And I got I got a little spicy at the end of the year. A little oh, so you get winter. spicy towards the fall and the winter yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what, like a pumpkin-y sort Not of a pumpkin, cinnamon? pumpkin. No, just like paprika. a nice Dolce and Gabbana, a little Dolce bit of rag and, and bone, a little oh. bit of, yeah. And they have them all on there. Oh. And they're nice. Okay. Have you? I've always so smelled good. Okay. I like people are like, damn, you smell good. I'm like, fuck yeah, you're right. Do you put like a tiny bit? Tiny bit. Just a touch. Just ch -ch -ch, that's it. Uh, but you have ten. Yeah. So and they keep sending you more. Mm -hmm. Are you worried you're gonna run out of space? People no. are gonna come over your usually, house like, well, oh my god, Justin's it, insane. <laughs> oh like god, his fucking house is filled with he's cologne. <laughs> he's wallowing in his own filth. Oh. Um, no, I have, I have. Usually, I'll use for the month. I'll use that as my month, and then you know, if I mm. don't use them, I'll save them. Oh, but you there save is them. there is a cologne that I had. It was called Sexual. 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 Is that even a word, or is that just Sexual. some asshole? It's some asshole. But so let's like just go pretending. With it. This is how you say it. Like when people would say in Spanish, "Can you tell me where o <laughs> is the restauranto?" <laughs> oh, yeah. Sexual. Sexual. But it had pheromones in it. Oh, sure it did. So it had pheromones in it, and every time I would wear it, women would be like, "Hmm." Hey, you yeah, smell good. Because they probably took some fat guy and made him run on a <laughs> treadmill, and then they dripped his fucking underwear into each bottle. It's just <laughs> oh, did Bert Kreischer? Yes, there he is. I didn't call you fat, Bert. No, Justin Martindale. He did. does it all the time. Calls I don't think fat. he's fat. No, he's he's, he's definitely thick. fat. He's thick with two C's. No, if you just Google Bert is nope. fat, you'll find. I know, but th th that's mean. He's thick. Tom and Bert, they call each other fat. The bear they cave. They fat shamed each other. What is it? The, 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 yeah. Two call? bears, one cave. Two bears. Yeah. That, that's, a, that's a gay term. Tell them. You should tell them that. They should know. They probably don't know. Because they <laughs> named They'd it. They'd probably be stunned and have to change Two their Two bears, podcast. one cave? They're yeah. both bears. In the gay community, those are bears. So they, they didn't know. get the joke? They didn't they, get the I reference? Think, I think they know. They should know. Are they technically bears? Or yeah. Don't you have to be kind of a little buff to be a bear? No. No? No. Just hairy? Yeah. And fat? I don't know what you are. What am I? You're not a bear and a you're chimp? not a, Huh? A chimp? No. <laughs> yeah, what is Joe Rogan in the gay community? <laughs> mm. uh. That's I think that's why we I don't have a thing either. Good. Congratulations. I used to be a twink and now I'm not. And now I, what, I, I what don't changed? I'm not hairy. What changed? I grew up, Joe. Yeah. I grew became up. mature. I filled That's out. an issue with gay folks, right? As you get older. Yeah. See, older guys that are straight can get hoes. Oh, absolutely. Gold diggers. Yeah. Yeah. I, lo I love a good old hoe. I know some dudes who are just really old, and mm -hmm. they have young, hot girlfriends or wives. Oh, yeah. And it's hilarious, because they got that cheddar. Yeah. They got that cheddar. But then... That doesn't work with guys, does it? Yeah. It does for twinks, right? It does for young gays. The young gays. There's definitely some where I've been like, this guy's like 85 years old, and it's like... It's a 19-year-old woman. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's okay in the gay community, whereas that's disgusting in the straight community. If you see an 80-year-old guy with an 18-year-old girl, you want to beat him to death. <laughs> you piece of shit. But if you see an 80-year-old gay guy with an 18-year-old boy, like, oh, he found himself a fella. Yeah. But it's okay. you also can look and be like, that'll do, pig. But you know that'll what also? Do. The other way. If you find an 80-year-old lady and she's yeah. got a 24-year-old boyfriend, Fuck you're like, yeah. you go, girl. Go, bitch. You go. Mm -hmm. Good for her. Good for her. Nobody's mad at her. Yeah. If anything, you're mad at the guy for like playing that old lady and getting her to buy you a Corvette. <laughs>